Hare Krishna. We continue reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is. We are on chapter 7, Knowledge of the Absolute, text 27. In this text, Krishna is telling Arjuna what is the cause? What is the cause that we are here in the material world? Ichadvesha samuttena dvandva mohena bharata Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Esi Bhakti Vedanta Samishra Prabhupada. O Stein of Bharat, O Conqueror of the Four, all living entities are born into delusion, bewildered by dualities, arisen from desire and hate. So we, the living entity, we are pure souls. We are souls, you know. We are not supposed to be in this world of duality. We are not supposed to be in delusion. We are not supposed to be bewildered. We are supposed to have perfect knowledge, perfectly blissful. We are supposed to be in the spiritual world. What happened? Why are we here? What's happening? Why? Because of our desire and hate. Because of our desire and hate, our desire, our desire to be God. We want to be God. We are saying that, oh, why should God be God? You know, why is Krishna God? I want to be God. And hate, envy, envy of Krishna. My own, why is he God? I should be God. Or he should be God, or that one should be God. Why should Krishna be God? So desire and hate, because of that, we are here in this material world. Icha dvesha. Icha and dvesh. The real constitutional position of the living entity is that of subordination to the Supreme Lord, who is pure knowledge. When one is deluded into separation from this pure knowledge, he becomes controlled by the illusory energy and cannot understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So when we are in this material world, what does she do? She has this covering potency, the material energy. She covers our perfect knowledge. What is the perfect knowledge? That I am eternal part and parcel of God. I am eternal servant of God. That is pure knowledge. That is perfect knowledge. But because we are here in this material atmosphere, the material energy covers our perfect knowledge, our pure knowledge. And because of this, we are not able to understand God. We are not able to understand ourselves because of this covering, the illusion. The illusory energy is manifested in the duality of desire and hate. Due to desire and hate, the ignorant person wants to become one with the Supreme Lord and envies Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So because of this, we want to be God and we envy why is Krishna God. You know, why can't I be God? Maybe someone else is God. So because of this desire to be God and this envy of Krishna, that why does he get to be God? Well, you know, I could have been God. God, maybe if I could have gotten a chance, I could be a better God than Krishna. Or maybe this one could be a better God than Krishna. You know, if we were given a chance. Not fair, we are not given a chance to be God. You know, so because of all these things, we are here in this material world. Now, pure devotees who are not deluded or contaminated by desire and hate can understand that Lord Sri Krishna appears by his internal potencies. But those who are deluded by duality and nations think that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is created by material energies. Now, because we are in this illusion, because we, our, our, our knowledge is being stolen by the, the illusory energy of Maya, because we are deluded, we are bewildered because of this, 
because knowledge is taken away. So we are ignorant, you know, and so there's so much duality here. And then what we begin to think, we begin to think, oh God, God, his form is material. His pastimes are material. We begin to think that God is saying like me. This is what happens to us. We think that God is same like me, like Krishna, his leelas are same like me. Why should I be interested to hear his pastimes, you know? Oh, I'd rather take up a book and read. It's the same thing. There's romance in the book. This is what Krishna is showing, romance. Or there is so much of, uh, what do you say, Ex excitement. You know, there's so much of this, the, the, the demons are coming. So I might as well read some Harry Potter book or something. No, but Krishna, he is not material. He is God. His activities are purifying. If we, at our stage, hear them, they are purifying for us and for the pure devotee because they've already understood the position of Krishna and their own position. They're able to relish these pastimes. They're able to truly understand these pastimes. And those are the pure devotees. They can understand that when Krishna comes, he comes with his internal energy. That when Krishna comes, his body that we can see is not material, but it is he himself, spiritual. So because we can't understand Krishna as he is, then this is our misfortune. Such deluded persons symptomatically dwell in dualities of dishonor and honor, misery and happiness, woman and man, good and bad, pleasure and pain, etc. Thinking, this is my wife, this is my house, I'm the master of this house, I'm the husband of this wife, or I am the wife of this husband. You know, that is our duality too. I am the wife of this husband, I'm the mother of this one, I'm the daughter of this one, I'm the sister of this one. These are the dualities of delusion. Those who are so deluded by dualities are completely foolish, and therefore cannot understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So then what to do if we want to understand God? Right now we are in this duality of delusion. We have this Icha and Dvesh. We have the desire to be God and we have the envy that why is Krishna God? But we want to rectify. We want to rectify this Icha and Dvesh. Then what do we do? Then we engage in devotional service, which begins by hearing and chanting. We, 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 we get this sincere desire to try to understand the truth. Then we begin to hear, hear about Krishna from Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavata, hear about him from the devotees and chant the Hare Krishna mantra. Then under the the direction of the spiritual master, gradually, gradually, this, this Icha and Dvesh will go away and we will get our pure knowledge and we will be situated in our original position. Because Krishna says that it is only by devotional service that I can be understood, not by any other way. He says, Avyabhicha. That it's only by devotional service, that unalloyed devotional service, that I can be understood and no other way. So we begin, we begin somewhere. Begin by hearing and chanting about Krishna. Is that okay? Yeah. Any comments or any questions? No, all of us. Okay. So then we'll stop here for today. Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Gaur Bhaktavrinda ki jai. Hare Krishna.